What's up everybody, Excel Dude coming at you again. Today we're going to do a quick one, basically show you how to calculate what that mortgage payment would be. Maybe you found a house you like, maybe you found one you didn't. Maybe you're looking and wondering if the bidding war is even worth it at this point. And hopefully that will age or won't age well with uh, how things are going in terms of the uh, current time. Anyway, you want to know what your payment's going to be. We know the interest rate we got quoted was three and a quarter. The mortgage amount was 200000 balance at the end when you pay it off will be zero and how many months is it that's the other thing or years let's say it's gonna be 30 years let's format that properly okay the payment so equals PMT that's the only one we use tab or click on it the rate that's our interest rate hit a comma number of periods 30 years comma present value, it's 200000 that we borrowed, comma, when it's paid off, the future value will be zero of that mortgage loan, comma, and mortgages are just that, end of the period. Hit a zero, or you can click that, close the parentheses, and hit enter. So right there, $10,536.34. There's no way I can pay that a month. That's crazy. Well, good thing we calculated it for a year. So all we do, the difference here, we divide everything by 12 equals this divided by 12. So that's our monthly interest. Then the mortgage amount, we actually keep that the same. Balance at the end doesn't change. Okay, so two things. At 30, there are 12 months in a year, so instead of dividing it, we multiply it by 12. 360 periods. Then the same thing equals payment, PMT, the rate, comma, number of periods, 360. Present value, we borrowed 200 presently, and the future value when it's paid off will be zero. And it's the end of the period, so another zero, or you can click on that. Close the parentheses, there's your monthly payment for that. For a $200,000 loan at this interest rate for 30 years. Now, if you want to change it, maybe it's 150. You just type it here. Then you can type it here, 250. It'll adjust, you can check, you can keep a benchmark of rates if you're shopping around, anything like that. Nothing too insane, it's pretty straightforward. Even with the interest rate, you can do 0.044%, 0.0175 if you for some reason can get financed at that rate, and so on. So now that you can calculate your own mortgage payment, someone gives you a quote and they say, yeah, it's gonna be 250,000 at 1.75 interest, your payment is 9-11-35. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not accurate. You might need to change that. I get 8 11 There you go. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.